ladies and gentlemen it is your boy limitless mike we are back with another video and today i have amazing news i have good news for you this kid this dude on the screen isam asinga in my opinion i think in all opinions we can officially say that he just completed the greatest high school sprint season of all time now we can debate this till we're blue in the face but the stats don't lie because just today this kid broke the world under 20 record in the 100 meter dash with a time of 9.8 seconds before i talk any longer let's get into that video all right and here it is he is running with the big boys at the south american championships just like the usa britain everyone else south america they have their own championships to decide one who's the fastest in south america two who's going on to the world championships and so much more now isam the 18 year old he runs with the big dogs and watch him in the middle of the track and watch and see what he does We will continue to let it run. That's top three. That's who's going. And he's out. Great start. Basically in the front the whole race. You know, it's not like he had to really make up ground or anything. He's out there. He's confident. He's dominant. He's the phenom. He's the he's the boy. He's the kid that did. And on this angle, I mean, arms look great also. His arm, his form is, is, is always, always, always great. This angle, they don't show the time. So let me show you just one other angle of it. This one's more blurry. Same race. But they show the official time on this one. And there it is, 989. That is a world, not even just USA, but that is a world under 20 record. That is faster than any man has been recorded in the 100 meter dash before they turn the age of 20. No homo, no nothing weird, but hey, this kid needs to keep this red uniform on. I feel like, I don't know, I really don't want to sound weird, but it looks like the Flash or something. It looks really good, just him running in the all red it's it is a good look it's a, it's a kind of a good brand i guess that's how i would more describe it it'd be a good brand for him to continue to run in this red uniform now other than just this u20 record this kid has broken so many records which is why at least for me i would say that this is the greatest high school season ever at least on the american side because he did uh you know he he is an american as well he did all his high school in America competed in America, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So for me, on my end, I first saw about this kid back during indoor at the New Balance Nationals. Now at New Balance Nationals, this dude, this dude right here went and he ran the 60 and the 200 meter dash indoors. In the 60 at New Balance Nationals, he ran a time of 6.57 seconds. That time tied for the national record in America. 6.5 seconds for a high schooler. That's blazing. That is that's good in college. That's you know very, very good as a professional. And, but there, there is one record. He tied the indoor 60 meter record. So boom. Then he went on to the 200 indoors and he ran a time of 20.48 seconds. That's when you're like, okay, this guy broke the 60 and 200 meter record. So your ears, at least me, my, my radar goes off. My ears start perking up like, hmm, he may do, he's going to do something outdoor and it may be something great, basically something magnificent. So then he went outdoors and and he was running very well he ran a 983 windy in, as a high schooler he ran a race where he beat noah lyles in the hundred you know noah lyles is one noah lyles once was the 
100 meter U.S. outdoor champion. He's one of the best 200 meter runners ever. You know, behind you saying both behind Johan Blake is Noah Lyles. This kid beat Noah Lyles. And also this kid ran a official time of 19.97, which this one's more controversial. But his, his two outdoor 200 meter time of 19.97 has been given to him as the fastest time for a U.S. high schooler. Now, that one's more controversial because... There was another kid. There's another, this, you know, the yin to this yang, these two just monsters. The other kid, Arion Knighton, as a high schooler, ran a 19.49, and he also ran, I believe, like a 1984. He ran the 1984 back in 2000, and, or not 2000, but 2021 as a junior at the Olympic trials, and then he ran a 1949 last year at a track meet as a senior in high schooler, but basically, Arion signed a contract with Adidas when he was like 16 years old. Um, so that kind of for that declined or denied all of his high school eligibility. It put him as a pro with the seniors. So that kind of stripped away his like any of his races to be considered eligible for like under the high school standards. I hope I described that well. Uh, you know, I could probably describe it a little better, but. That's all. Arion's times, they don't count as the high schoolers. This guy, even though they are faster, and this guy's times do count for a high schooler. So, boom. He has the the 60-meter record, the indoor 200-meter record, the outdoor 200-meter record with the asterisk next to it. Now, he has the U.S. 100-meter dash record and the world under 20 record. To me, with all those put him in the four let's make let's see if he can go after it in the four let's see if he can get the 400 meter record as well because the he's he's amazing you know he's amazing but to me that is that is greatness at any level that is greatness and i think that would be considered you know number one if not top two top three greatest seasons you know greatest performances of all time now he is supposed to be heading over to Texas A&M next year, uh, you know, to compete with the Aggies. You already know Texas A&M is one of the best schools when it comes to track and field. And I'm nobody's advisor, father. I'm nobody to give anyone advice. But I think he needs to forego that. And I think Nike, Asics, Adidas, somebody needs to give this boy a bag you know pay for his education so that he can still have a, a great life outside of track and field but hey he doesn't need to run in college he's too good he's too fast he does not need to run in college forego that have someone pay for your education and uh just keep running with the big dogs and more than likely again this was to qualify for the world championships you know for the south americans he's going to be running for Suriname and and uh although although he's had one of the longer seasons for the pros or for the big dogs you know most people just kind of start competing outdoors some of them compete indoors but a lot of the pros only do outdoors he's been doing it since high school indoors there is a chance that he may we may be watching him in the finals of the world championships and if you're in the finals there is a chance that he could walk away with the medal at just 18 years old right now this time of 9.89 is currently ranked number four in the world or at least tied for number four and the fastest time in the world is currently a 983 so there is a he's right there he's right in striking distance with the fastest people in the world the fastest pros you never know what will happen because in the seniors and at the world championships, you know, a lot of people kind of come out of nowhere or people, you know, their design, their training program is made to peak at the world championships, to run the fastest at the world championships and to win the world championships. And again, a lot of these guys are just going to have less races under their legs than Isam has. But again, he's right there in striking distance. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that he could make a run at a medal? Now, you know, it's likely not going to be gold if he was to make a run at a medal. It would be it'd be kind of crazy to say, oh, yeah, he's going to get the gold medal. But 
bronze silver there is a there is a chance that he could be making a run out of metal let me know what you think or will he even make the finals because again he could this could be his peak right here this could be the fastest that he runs and and yeah but still with with everything i've just said to me this is the greatest and he is gonna have some great battles because one other point that i have is that there was another kid out of Jamaica. The sprints are in good hands. My final point is this. The sprints are in great hands with the likes of Arion Knighton. There is a kid out of Jamaica. I can't pronounce his name correctly. I just call him Bo. But Bo also broke um, the like the Jamaican under 20 record this year. He ran a 9-9, a 9 meter dash. That was faster than like Asafa Powell. That's faster than Johan Blake. Now, this guy, Isam, broke the under-20 record. Arion Knighton got the 200. So, the sprints are going to be in great hands. And, yeah, that's all. That's all for this video. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Also, I hope Isam keep killing it, my boy. I hope you have a blessed day as well. It's your boy, Limitless Mike. I'm out. Take care. Peace.